which schools are be being used here. This is a construction bricklaying workshop at Inverness College. The students here are developing technical skills and vocational skills, but they are developing other skills at the same time. For example, they need numeric skills to carry out this task. They have to work out how many bricks they will need, how much mortar they will need, what are the ratios in the mortar mix, for example. You will see a young man with a blue top in the middle of the picture. He looks as if he's mixing mortar in a wheelbarrow. The other students will have to communicate with him if they require more cement for their building their walls. Similarly, there's a man with a white coat in the background. This is likely to be the lecturer. They will have to communicate with him. They will have to ask him questions if they need advice. And similarly, they will have to respond to any questions he asks them. They will also have to speak to their classmates. For example, if they're sharing tools to arrange who uses which tool and when. Working with others and team working is all part of this class. They will have to share tools and equipment. They may help each other. If they finish their task early, do they go and help one of their classmates? If they have to share tools and so on. They have to work together. Not everything will go smoothly in the workshop and they may have to solve some problems. What do they do if their wall isn't level? What do they do if the cement is setting too quickly, in other words, drying out very quickly? Or what do they do if it's too runny? They may be able to rectify these problems from the knowledge they already have, uh, or they may have to ask advice from the lecturer or their classmates, but they will have to solve problems at some point during their class. We would not normally associate ICT with a bricklaying class, but prior to this class, you can see the young man in the centre has an arch in his wall. He may have done some research on the internet before the class to find out how to do this. Similarly, one young man has got a pattern of bricks in, in his wall, and again, he may have researched this. The class may have used online calculators to work out how many bricks they needed for a wall of a certain size, how much mortar they needed as well. So ICT, although it's a bricklaying workshop, may have been used as part of that. Whilst they're developing their technical vocational skills, they are developing other skills for employment. For example, they will develop timekeeping, good timekeeping skills. In other words, they will arrive in class in good time. All employers look for good timekeeping. Employers are also looking for reliability. So if they attend regularly, they are showing their reliability. The other two things that employers are looking for are good uh, literacy and numeracy skills, which they would have used during this class, and commitment and enthusiasm. Did you see all of the skills being developed in this workshop? <laughs>